Hi guys, our today's topic is centers of a triangle. You must be wondering how come triangles have the center. As we generally talk about center of a circle. So let's see one by one what types of center does a triangle have. Let's start with an example. Draw a triangle and label it as triangle A, B and C. Now take midpoints of each side of a triangle P, Q and R. Join AP. AP is known as median of a triangle. So what is median? Median is defined as a line segment joining vertex of a triangle and midpoint of opposite side. Let's draw one more median from B to Q. We have two medians. These two medians intersect at a specific point. And this point of intersection is defined as centroid. So, friends, what is centroid? The point of intersection of two medians is known as centroid of a triangle. And this centroid is generally labeled as G. So, G is a symbol used for centroid of a triangle. Let's plot the third median also and you can see that it passes through centroid. Draw a triangle. Label it as A, B and C. Let's draw angle bisector of angle A. Now this is AP bisects angle A. The line which bisects the given angle is known as angle bisector of a given angle. Let's plot one more angle bisector. Angle bisector of B and BQ bisects angle B. Now these two bisectors of angle A and B intersects at a point. And this point is known as in center of a triangle. So what is in center? The point of intersection of any two angle bisectors of a triangle is known as in center of a triangle. The symbol used for in center is I. In case I plot the third angle bisector, it will again pass through in center. So all angle bisectors are concurrent and the point of intersection is in center. Now the next one. Again, draw a triangle. Label it as ABC. This time, let us plot perpendicular bisector to side BC. Perpendicular bisector means it will bisect the side BC, means pass through the midpoint of BC and is perpendicular. So, what is perpendicular bisector? Perpendicular bisector means a line which bisects the given side and is perpendicular to it. And in case I plot another angle bisector, now both hang... Now in case if I plot another perpendicular bisector, now these perpendicular bisectors intersect at a specific point and this point of intersection of perpendicular bisectors is defined as circumcenter of a triangle. So, what is circumcenter? The point of intersection of any two perpendicular bisectors of a triangle. And this circumcenter is labeled as O. And in case if I draw the perpendicular bisector to the third side, that perpendicular bisector will also pass through O. So, you can see. So, this is circumcenter of a triangle. Let's move to the next one. Again, plot a triangle. Label it as A, B and C. Draw a perpendicular line from A on B, C. And this perpendicular line from a vertex to a side is defined as altitude. So what is altitude? The line segment from vertex of triangle and perpendicular to the opposite side is known as altitude. Let's plot another altitude, BQ. AP and BQ intersects at a point and the point of intersection of these altitudes is defined as orthocenter of a triangle. So what is definition of orthocenter? The point of intersection of any two altitudes of a given triangle is known as orthocenter. The symbol used for orthocenter is H. And in case if I plot the third altitude also, it will pass through H. So, orthocenter is the point of intersection of altitudes and altitudes are concurrent. 
Next one, again plot triangle, label it as ABC. This time, extend the sides AB and AC to points P and Q respectively. Now, draw the exterior angle bisector to angle B. Similarly to C, these two exterior angle bisectors, they intersect at a point and the point of intersection of these exterior angle bisectors is defined as the x center of a triangle and the symbol uses E1. There are three x centers the students remember. The x center can be opposite to any vertex of a triangle. E1 is opposite to A, we can have E2 opposite to B and E3 opposite to C. So the point of intersection of any two exterior angle bisectors of a triangle is known as X center of a triangle. This was all about centers of triangle. Let's quickly recap which all centers of triangle we have done. The first one was centroid, point of intersection of medians. Second one was in center, the point of intersection of angle bisectors. Third one, circumcenter, the point of intersection of perpendicular bisectors. Next one, orthocenter, the point of intersection of altitudes. And the last one, X center, which is a point of intersection of exterior angle bisectors. So this was all about today's topic. Next time, we will meet with a new topic. Till then, thank you and have a nice day.